Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here in the 2019 Volvo V60 Cross Country for one reason only, and that is to test out the Harman Kardon premium sound system. A lot of you guys have been asking me for months on months, when am I going to test the premium sound system from Harman Kardon? When am I going to test the mid-tier sound systems in the Volvos? Well, here is today. This uh, sound system experience can be applied to the normal V60, also the S60, and also the XC60. They are all the same sound system, 13 speakers, though I couldn't find out how many watts the amplifier put out, but that is basically uh, basically the specs. And this won't be a one-to-one -one comparison for you guys who have been watching these reviews, these tests of these audio systems, know that this isn't a one-to-one -one comparison. Your listening experience is highly dependent on my microphone, my camera, your earphones, your speakers, your sound card in your computer, the processing chip in my camera, so many things, my, how, what quality I edit it, but it will give you a good idea of what the sound system is like along with my opinion because I daily a 2019 Volvo XC90, 2018 Volvo XC90 with the Barrows and Wilkins premium sound system, which is the top of the tier sound system. So my opinion at the end will give you guys a good indication if this sound system is good, if it's worth the money or not. So just a quick tour of the speaker setup here before we play the song. So up top of the dashboard, we have the center speaker, which is a mid-range and a tweeter. You also have a mid-range and a tweeter speaker here in the door and this covered in this beautiful Harman Kardon badged gunmetal gray metal speaker grill. And you also have that on the passenger side, though this is plastic and the rear top speaker of the door is also plastic. So you don't have a lot of you know aesthetic changes to the interior except for this speaker grill. If you got the Barson Wilkins, you would get you know the Twitter up there and also a, a, an even more you know pronounced uh, speaker grill. But I think this is a very cool setup. And also here is my setup. This is in Norwegian, but that's my base and that is my subwoofer. I always keep the the tops uh, the treble you know just flat and I also only adjust the bass and also the subwoofer. We are using the Spotify app here so we, we play lossless music and also playing this song from NCS releases which is a non-copyrighted soundtrack so I don't get copyright infringed for playing this song for you guys. So I'm going to turn around the microphone and press play here.
So that was the listening portion of this video. I hope you guys got a good idea of what it sounds like. Again, very dependent on your hardware and on my hardware. But in my opinion, this Harman Kardon sound system is very good and it is on par with other Harman Kardon sound system I've tested in similar products, you know, BMWs, which are the other major brand that offers the Harman Kardon premium sound system here in the luxury or premium segment. And the big question is, should you get the Barrison Wilkins premium sound system? Well, for most people, I think this upgrade is a well worth upgrade over the base sound system. It's not very expensive, $1,200 euros. 10,000, 12,000 kroner, depending on what market you are in. And for that money, it is well worth the price difference because it is a very good sound system that gives you 80%, 75% of what the Barrison Wilkins premium sound system gives you. But the Barrison Wilkins sound system really is on another level. So for people who are really, really into audio, who are really, you know, audiophiles and listen to music hours on hours and end, and loudly, the Barrison Wilkins will be, you know, a noticeable upgrade from this again, and will just keep give, uh, you know, leave you less fatigued after a a long drive of many hours listening to loud music, and that is one of the biggest differences. Also, this when you play it loudly, it starts to distort the sound. So at you know at medium, at six tenths, seven tenths, it is fine. It, it, it plays very nicely and for most people this is very very good and probably an amazing sound system and probably the best sounding sound system a lot of people have tested but for people who are really into audio the Barson Wilkins premium sound system is well worth the the you know the the price at three thousand dollars euros thirty thousand kroners and at that price I think it's still one of the bargains of this decade in car audio sound system so guys I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye <laughs>